What's up, everybody? How you feeling? It's your boy, Pastor Dre, right here at creatingwebsite.org. And today I want to show you how you can make a pop-up on your website. Real simple, real easy, using Thrive Architect. Now, I'm making some updates to my website right here. And I just want to give you some behind-the-scenes access on how I'm going to add a pop-up to this button right here, which creates lead generation, email signups, and all that good stuff. So, like I said, this is behind-the-scenes. I'm actually updating my website, so if you want to check it out, stay tuned. All right, here we go. I am in my dashboard. I have Thrive Architect install. I have Thrive Leads dashboard. So, you got Thrive Architect and Thrive Leads. I have both of them. So the one I'm going to use, I'm going to go to my Thrive dashboard. Okay, real simple. Watch how simple this is. And I'm going to go to Thrive Leads. Okay, this will get you lead generation, email signups, build your email list. It's amazing. Okay, so once you click uh, Thrive Leads, I'm going to go down here to Thrive Boxes. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to type Live Online Class. So what I want to do is I'm going to put a button on my website right here. So where you click this button, a pop-up comes up for you to be able to send your email list to be notified of our next live class. So now that I've created the uh, the, the the box, okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to here to edit, okay, create the form. I'm going to call this form live online class, okay, and you click create form. Watch how simple this is. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go here to edit design. The cool thing about Thrive Architect and Thrive Leads is they give you pre-made designs. So that's pretty cool. So once I click that edit, it's going to give me the option where I could choose from all the designs that they have available. And I'm just going to try a real simple one. Let me see. Let's scroll down here. Let's try. They have two step, one steps. But we're going to try. Let's see. Let's see. Which one do we like here? uh let's see let's go with this one let's go with this one here all right i like this one too uh let's go with that one okay so we're going to go with the lb bright lead generation so there's our box so what i'm going to put here is live i'm going to go ahead and edit it live online class and the editing is real simple you if you want to make it bigger smaller you click on it you slide it over live online class you want to change where this is located you click on that layout position you can just move it up or down so we're going to go like that live online class and i'm going to change this to blue to match the colors of the website okay so we're going to hit apply boom and then here i'm going to put get notified get or let's put join our next online class free okay we're gonna make this bigger we're gonna bold it boom there you have it okay there's our little pop-up so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to connect this to an email list so I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click, click connect to service uh, I have my new API connection so I'm gonna click that okay add new API connections I'm gonna click that Okay. Then, in order to add my API, you're going to go here, add new connection. I click that. Select an app. I'm going to click here. I have Mailchimp, so we're going to click here. Boom. Now I have to go get my API key from Mailchimp. So I just go to Mailchimp.com. Now, like I said, this is all behind the scenes. This is not an edited video, but it's going to show you how to do some good stuff. All right, so I'm going to log into my account. And I'm going to go get my API address. So let me go here and then to profile and then to extras in API keys. And let me grab my API key right here. I'm going to hit copy. Close that. I'm going to go back and paste that key here and hit connect. So this will allow me to be able to connect my MailChimp to my lead generation, okay? So now, there it is. It's connected. So I'm going to select MailChimp because, once again, we're editing our pop-up. 
and I want to connect it to my creating website email list okay and then I want to scroll down on tags I'm going to put live online class so I know where the people signed up we're going to hit continue and we're going to make their name optional it's not going to be required and we're going to just say show success notification then you hit save okay so then we're going to save the box and of course you can make this a little bit more fancier however you want to do it okay um, I could put the free at the top which I think I'll do right now make it stand out more so I'm going to put free there like that make it stand out a little bit put that in the middle okay and let's take that out boom free Wait, let me put that back put that back like that okay and then here I'm gonna say I'm gonna edit this text so you click on the box edit form elements you click on there and put join our next live class and then we're gonna hit done okay so there's our pop-up box I really don't like it so let me edit a little bit I don't like this box make it a little bit simpler boom so I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put text over here we'll put my own text I'm going to put join our next live online class boom. and then I'm going to put it in the center I'm going to click the B and I'm going to go over here and make the font bigger there we go I like that Okay, and then maybe I could put like free underneath. So I come over here, click enter, you know, make the space. And then I put free in all capitals. And then I make that real big. Boom. Okay, now if you want to move it up, I click the letters. Go over here to layout position. And I bring it up. Bring that up. And if I want to make it separate to be able to bring the free up, I hit plus. Go to text, type in free, and then now it's its own text, so I can make this big as I want. I'm I hit bold, put it in the center, and then I come over here for main options, and I make that bigger. Boom. And I come over here to layout position and slide it up. So now it could be a little bit closer. I'm going to bring the box up. Okay, so you know you can decorate it however you want. I'm not too much into graphic design, but I'll hit save. Okay, now here's what to do. Now I'm gonna go back to my page where I've added this button. Okay, I'm gonna hit save. Now you gotta hit refresh because your website is not aware that you've created this pop-up button. So it needs to be refreshed. Okay, now once it's refreshed, I'm gonna link that pop-up to this button and we're done. Less than 10 minutes. Some people charge you hundreds of dollars to do this. So I'm going to click this. And I'm going to go to animation and action. I'm going to take that one out. We don't want a link. We want a pop-up. So I'm going to click that. We want to open a Thrive uh, Thrive uh, Leads Thrive Box. I forgot what we labeled it. Let me see what I called it. Let me see here. What do we call this thing? Live online class. So let's refresh that. A pop up box just so the system knows that it's there. Okay, let's go back over here and refresh here just to make sure everything is in tune. Let's hit refresh. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll down, click my button, go over to animations and action. Remember, take out the link, go here for pop ups. And I want my leaves box and I called it what live class right so I'm gonna type in the LIV there it is it popped up so I popped up there and then I hit apply so what I did when I typed in LIV I actually searched for the box that was called live online class I go to preview okay site loads up when I click that button a pop-up should pop up ask me to sign up for the class that's how you do it this is your boy, Pastor Dre, right here, creatingwebsite.org. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you.